Hey guys, it's Greg from Becca Ombud again, and today I would just like to do a quick unboxing of the Microsoft Ocean Plastic Mouse. It caught my eye while I was surfing the interwebs during a short break at work, as one does, because its shell is composed of 20% recycled ocean plastic. Hence the name. And for $25, I thought it'd be kind of cool to take a look at, so why don't we just crack it open and see what's up? You smell that? It smells like a bit goblin. So this mouse was released on October 10th of this year with not too much fanfare. I mean, realistically, how do you hype up a mouse? And from first glance at the Amazon listing, it looks like they basically just took their standard Bluetooth mouse and replaced the shell and added some blue accents to make it stand out. It's nothing special, honestly, in terms of mice, but it's still a step forward in terms of sustainability, so I'll take it. The box the mouse ships in is slick looking in my opinion. It's pretty simple with your typical branding on the front, an explanation of what ocean plastic is on the side, which I guess is cool if you couldn't figure it out. And then on the back you have a mission statement from Microsoft about being more sustainable, which is cool and all, but time will tell if that, if that actually holds true. And then also a check mark to affirm that it's Windows compatible and then also that it's a Bluetooth mouse. You can also see here that I kind of mangled the box when opening it. Since it took me longer than I'd like to admit, there's a pull tab here that you're supposed to pull across to open up the outer wrap, which you can then take off to open the box and reveal the contents. Hopefully you'll have a better time with this than I did. Inside the box you have your mouse, obviously, which actually does ship with the battery and some packaging to protect the mouse. But under this little insert, you have a cute little folding out quick start guide to help you pair your mouse and the usual product info and safety stuff like you'd see in every product packaging. I really wish this shipped with a rechargeable battery of some sort to be more eco-friendly, but that's really just nitpicking for a cheap mouse and easily correctable with a small purchase. And I do still appreciate that you can at least swap out the battery instead of being stuck with a non-replaceable one. As for the mouse itself, like I said, it's basically the same shape and size as their current Bluetooth mouse, just with a different shell. So you've still got your typical okayish, sharp, but kind of cheap feeling left and right clickers with a scroll wheel that I'm not quite a huge fan of. It has a, I guess you call it a ratchet mechanism, where it's not quite free spinning and clicks when you spin it, but it's like super soft to where it almost feels kind of mushy. I would have preferred either a heavier mechanism or a complete free spinning wheel, not this kind of in-between mushy stuff. But on the bright side, in my opinion, this is a good size for a travel mouse, for like a business or a school laptop, since it is small and you can stash it in your backpack easily, but it's not super small. Though I will say that if you have larger hands, I can see this getting old rather quickly, with you likely getting some hand cramps at some point. Weight-wise, it feels fine to me. It's a little dense, but it's not overly heavy for a mouse. As for the appearance, I kind of like the like dirtyish white look, with the white shell with a bunch of random speckles all over it, and the greenish-blue accents are a nice touch. So connecting this mouse to your PC should be the same as you would do with any other Bluetooth device, but I'll just demonstrate it here just to show you that it's still pretty easy. So the first thing you need to do is make sure your mouse is in pairing mode. And to do that, flip your mouse over on the bottom of the mouse, press and hold the power slash Bluetooth button for three seconds until the LED starts flashing. Next in Windows, what you need to do is go to Bluetooth settings, make sure Bluetooth is on, click on add device, click Bluetooth. And then after it searches, you should see an option for Microsoft Ocean Plastic Mouse. Select it, it should be connected, and then you're good to go. And assuming your mouse is on, you should be able to use it and do whatever you want with it. And just to show you, the mouse is on and the mouse cursor is moving. Although kind of crappily because it's all my palm. But it works. Okay, and now for Linux, we'll be using my primary desktop with the KDE desktop environment. So what we'll do first is again, hold the power button for three seconds till the mouse is in pairing mode. Once the LED is flashing, then we'll just go ahead and open up our Bluetooth settings. Now that Bluetooth is open, we just need to go to adapter search. Microsoft Ocean Plastic Mouse came up. Let's just go ahead, right click it, hit connect. After a hot minute, it should, oh, down here we got a notification for a pairing request to the Bluetooth mouse. Let's just hit confirm. And now at this point, it should be working. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's what you wanna see. What we're also gonna do really quick is just right click on the mouse and click trust. That way, when the mouse turns on and wants to pair with the machine, it will automatically pair. And if you don't have that, when you turn the mouse on and it tries to pair with your machine, the connection will just fail. So it's really up to you if you wanna have that auto, auto connect or not. Now moving on to actually using the mouse, the product page does mention up to 12 months of battery life, which I'd be curious to know how they tested that to come up with that claim. 
Did they use some super chonktastic battery that would extend the battery life a lot? Or are they expecting you to only use the mouse for like three to four hours per day during that 12 months of usage? I don't have any tests or even anecdotal evidence to support that since all I've done with this mouse prior to this video is just open the box to make sure it's actually there and then power it on to make sure it works so I can RMA it if I needed to. But we should all know by now to pretty much ignore any manufacturer battery life claims and I kind of wish manufacturers were required to prove any battery life claims in their advertising materials somehow. But putting all advertising ideals aside, to wrap it up, I honestly kind of like the mouse. I haven't used it much outside of this video like I mentioned a moment ago, but with it being kind of smallish, light-ish, and in theory pretty long battery life, it seems like a good candidate for a travel mouse for school or work. And the shell being made up of partially recycled ocean plastic is a nice step in the right direction, which I personally love to see. Sure, it is a little bit more expensive than Microsoft's other smaller, cheaper mice, but I've always been a proponent of putting your money where your mouth is. And if it means spending a little more to cover the cost of using a more sustainable material, then so be it. At $25, it still falls under that impulse buy territory for me. And it's really only $5 more than the older version of the Bluetooth mouse that doesn't use recycled plastics. I personally really hope products like this do well and we see more efforts by other peripheral and PC component manufacturers to use more recycled materials in their products. 20% of a mouse really doesn't seem like that much, but every small step forward is better than nothing and should be applauded. Plus, Microsoft are also offering a free recycling program for your old mouse, so if you want to buy this mouse for whatever reason, you don't then have to contribute more e-waste by throwing out your old mouse completely. It's a nice little value add. Plus, the packaging is also 100% recyclable, which is also another great thing to see because a lot of manufacturers use a lot of single-use plastics, which can't be recycled. All that said, I still wouldn't recommend replacing all of your old functioning mice with these since you still need to reduce and reuse as well as re recycle. But anyways, now I'm curious to know what your thoughts are on this mouse or if you know of other cool peripherals you think I should take a look at, so be sure to sound off in the comments section down below. If you disliked the video, then you know what to do, but if you did like it, then go hit that like button and also get subscribed and hit the bell icon so you can keep up with my latest videos and show your support. I've also got a Discord server if you'd like to join the community and just chat and hang out with us, and there are also several help channels to get help if you need it. I hope you all have a great day, and I will catch you in the next one.